Okay, guys, welcome to our channel. We're so happy that you're here. We have a really fun video for you guys today. We are doing a shiplap tutorial. We are renovating our half bath downstairs, and I'm so happy that you're here to watch. So this is what our half bath looked like about three years ago when we moved in. The walls were textured, everything was outdated, and it was just so dark. So I am going to just share what it looks like right now. We've definitely made some changes. We swapped out the flooring. We have done a lot of painting. We still need to touch up some spots we've live with kids, so um, there are definitely smudges all over, but um, we did switch out the hardware, and that was just such an amazing change. It was really budget-friendly, and it just gave it such a fresh look. It's definitely just a great update to make to your home if things are outdated, um, even kitchen cabinets or your bathroom vanities. Um, changing that hardware makes all the difference. So this is what our bathroom looks like right now. It is pretty plain. We haven't put a lot of energy or time into this bathroom just knowing that eventually we wanted to shiplap in here. So right now the walls are a mess. Um, it's really hard to see. The camera's not picking it up very well, but later on in this video, you'll get um, a better close-up and be able to tell that they are still pretty textured, um, even with professionals coming in and trying to smooth them out. So um, the shiplap is just going to give it such a fresh and clean look and I am so excited to share this process with you guys. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a little shout out to my amazing husband for taking over the majority of this video. I ended up getting sick and losing my voice, so he is just being a total champ, and I'm so thankful. I hope you guys are enjoying this video, and I just cannot wait to share the finished product with you guys. Actually, even before that, I can't wait to get my hands on that bathroom and just start decorating, and I will definitely bring you guys along on that process, but I hope you guys are loving it so far. Hey guys, it's Chad. I um, want to show you guys what we're doing to get this shiplap project started. Um, we got to tear out the toilet, obviously. Um, we're going to tear out the vanity, um, take a toilet paper holder off the wall. Uh, we're going to take the uh, towel holder off the wall as well and our mirror. Um, and then the outlets, take those out as well. I'm going to start with the toilet, get that out of here, free up some space. This bathroom is really tight. Um, so I'll show you really quick what that looks like. We'll fast forward as we do it, um, but just show you guys real quick. We're going to take out, um, we're going to obviously turn off the water to the toilet, empty the tank, get all that out of there. Um, I'm going to take, get to the bolts down here uh, that hold the toilet in place. So you need a little screwdriver, pop the cap off, and then a wrench to take those uh, Johnny bolts off. You've got one on this side, one on that side, and I'm going to loosen those up. Um, equally. So I'm going to go from one to the other, one to the other to, to loosen it, to not put too much pressure on one side to break the porcelain toilet. Um, but anyway, I'll get started taking this off and uh, I'll see you guys after. Now we're going to take the wax ring off um, that seals the toilet, uh, to the plumbing here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just start scraping this wax off. I've got a, a new um, Johnny ring or wax ring uh, ready to go for when we reinstall the toilet. But for now I'm going to get rid of both, all of this old wax. Alright, so real quick I'm going to take off the towel holder and then also the toilet paper roll holder. 
Um, they typically have a, a screw, a small screw, or um, uh, whether it's a, a flathead screw or sometimes they use an Allen wrench or hex key. Um, ours have the Allen wrench here, so I'm going to go ahead and loosen that up, and that will allow us to get back behind this uh, to take the bracket off that's on the wall actually holding it there. So we'll take that off real quick. So here's the texturedness of the walls still. Um, as Sky mentioned, we had, uh, these walls were completely textured. We had a company come in and, um, and scrape them down and kind of re-mud uh, them. However, they were so bad to begin with that they didn't get it perfect. Um, and uh, you know, that's part of why we're, we're doing the ship lap in here to kind of cover that up. So taking out the drawer on this vanity, um, this is an Ikea vanity, um, got to take out the drawer so I can get back to the plumbing um, to unhook all of that and then also um, take the screws out to anchor this to the wall. Um, so in order to get this drawer out, there's a couple clips, uh, if you've got this Ikea vanity, um, there's a couple clips on the bottom um, on each side and you've got to push out, on ours it's gray, um, the clip is, but uh, you got to push out um, or in, I guess, if you would, towards uh, the center um, and you unclip it and then it allows you just to lift that drawer off. Right, so now I'm going to unhook um, the plumbing uh, from the wall here. Um, so obviously this is the drain. Uh, I'm going to take the drain out first. Um, and then we'll unhook the, the water as well. The, um, you've got your hot and cold, and I can just turn those off. Come on. There we go, so those are off, and we're just gonna pull this out. And it goes down inside the wall a little bit here, so I'm gonna loosen this up so I can pivot. We're gonna um, take all the trim out in here. Uh, and the reason being, we're actually gonna go all the way down to the floor with the shiplap. So we won't have a, a floor trim in here. You'll just go all the way down to the floor um, and that shiplap is going to cover up uh, where the floating floor ends. Probably hear kids in the background there, uh, um, being kids. But uh, anyway, we're, we're measuring for our first board. I'm going to start on this longest wall at the top, and we're going to work around and down. Um, so I'm just measuring this first board. Looks like I've got 76 inches and a quarter. Um, so I'm going to cut my first board. I'm going to run it wall to wall, and then as I cut my next board, I'm going to butt them up in the corners. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll start here. 76 and a quarter. Hi, beautiful. Hi guys, so we've got our first board in place. Um, I'll show you guys soon, but we're actually using uh, plywood instead of true shiplap uh, for a cheap uh, and easy uh, shiplap look-alike. Um, so anyway, I've cut my plywood down. I'll show you that outside here in a minute. Um, but I've got the first board up. I'm just checking for it to, to be level. Obviously, as I install it here, this first board is going to determine um, you know, how the rest of the boards fit. And I wanna make sure that we're level throughout. If you're off just a little bit, um, it's going to throw off the whole room. So I'm checking for level now. Once I get that good, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this board installed. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do real quick uh, is I'm gonna mark this wall um, with some lines down the studs. 
so that when I use my nail gun, I'm going into a stud. Um, so I'll show you guys that process here in just a moment. So I'm using a stud finder um, to find the studs here. This is a magnetic one, um, so it's struggling a little bit to pick up the the nails behind the, the or on the drywall here because again um, we had these walls kind of smoothed a bit and then mudded over again. Um, so it's struggling a little bit, but I found one here. Um, so I want to find these studs. I'm going to get a level on it and I'm going to run a just a pencil line all the way down this stud. So as I put up the shiplap. I'm able to um, nail directly into the stud and so it holds it in place and I'm not going into just plain drywall. Um, so let me get a line on this and we'll do this actually all the way around the room um, before we start installing the board. So we used uh, plywood as I mentioned before um, instead of using traditional shiplap which costs a good bit more. Uh, this plywood gives you the same look for a lot cheaper. So we used uh, plywood from Lowe's, which we'll link down below. Um, this is a uh, four uh, foot by eight foot section that we ripped down. Um, and I cut these boards into five and three quarters inches. Um, so they're five and three quarters inch. We're gonna use a nickel as our spacer. Um, so we'll set a nickel uh, in between boards as we're setting them uh, on, oops, I'm sorry, on the wall there. So we've got nickel and then you'll have a second board up on top. Um, we'll use that as a spacer. And uh, these are really nice boards. So it's a white board. Um, they're primed on one side, uh, so it takes the paint a little bit easier when we go to paint it white. But uh, again, overall really cheap. They're $50 for a four by eight uh, foot uh, section of the plywood, um, which we bought three for this bathroom. I over or I, I believe we'll have some leftover, but I bought three, so we're 150 bucks into the, um, the project. So we've got the uh, first uh, wall done, um, went top to bottom. I just have to put the last piece on at the bottom for trim. Um, and then we've got, I'm starting up over here. I'm gonna do a border all the way around the top and then I'll hop over to this back wall, go all the way down um, and uh, then come over here. I'll finish with this wall, this will be the last one because I'm gonna leave this light plugged in as long as I can. Um, I'm gonna have to obviously take that off the wall and uh, cut around it, put my boards back behind this uh, light fixture. So we're getting there, little by little progress. So with the outlets, um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna trim the, the shiplap really close around the outlet so that when you push this back in, you're actually gonna have uh, the prongs of the, the outlet um, sitting actually against the uh, shiplap. So that way your outlet is gonna be flush with the shiplap instead of sunk back. Um, that's the easiest and cheapest way to do it. Um, Home Depot, Lowe's, they sell some um, like junction box extenders that you could use. Um, but I find if you're gonna use the, the shiplap and cut it anyway, might as well just trim right around it, get it in real close so you don't have to buy a separate extension piece um, and you'll just be able to install it like this. Um, I also purchased, um, and I'll show you as we get close to installing those, 
um, outlets, but I also purchased longer machine screws that will uh, be able to reach inside to the junction box to pull this tight against the shiplap. Um, without those, these screws are going to be too short, the screws that come with the um, outlets. And so anyway, I've got longer ones. I'll show you that guys uh, what we're going to use here once I put these back in. Um, but for now, just know that we're going to trim really close just right around this, um, just shy of the screw hole on the junction box. So I'm actually have the shiplap come right under it so that this can sit flush on it. I just marked the board uh, for the outlet here. So I measured out, uh, here I'll show you this. So I measured out where this outlet is gonna fall in relation to the shiplap when I install it. So I just measured out um, on the, the board and I'm gonna go ahead and use a jigsaw and cut this out. Sometimes the board will fall and the entire outlet will be inside of the shiplap. Other times it won't and you're gonna have two boards put together. Um, this one actually not the entire thing quite fits. So I'm gonna have to trim a little bit off of the next board that's gonna be below it. Um, but in the future, uh, if I do have one that falls all the way inside this, in order to get in there with the jigsaw, you get, you're going to actually use a drill and drill a hole in the corner here, stick your jigsaw through, and that way you can cut out. But since I don't have that now, I'm actually will just start on the end, do a jigsaw up and over. So I'll cut this out, we'll bring it back in and install it. So with this um, plumbing for the toilet, you can see there's you know, this plate on there that we've painted over. You can see that uh, back here, there's just a, a good bit of drywall mud as they tried to flatten these walls out and it just doesn't look very good. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off the uh, water, the main water coming into the house. I'm gonna take off this valve for the toilet um, and then I'm gonna slide this plate off um, and then I'm gonna scrape this down to get it kind of level. And we're actually gonna just drill a hole for this uh, copper tubing to come through, through for the toilet. And we're gonna put this shiplap straight on over it. So you're gonna get rid of this plate um, and it should give it a nice clean look. Uh, so now I've uh, put on the board, uh, I cut out um, around the plumbing here, around that copper tube coming out. Um, so first I used uh, a hole saw, although I did not have the right size one for this uh, copper tubing, this half inch copper tubing. Um, so I had to improvise and use a jigsaw to kind of make the hole a little bit bigger. Um, so I put back on just a uh, plastic flange um, that I will paint to match the rest of this. Um, now I'm ready to go ahead and reinstall the shutoff valve um, and then we can turn the water back onto the house. Okay, so I got some hand towels from Target. They are the Threshold brand and they're so cute. I love the polka dot detail with the, they've got like a fringe um, on the bottom. So I cannot wait to get in that bathroom and start decorating. So I'm gonna share just a couple other things that I found for the bathroom that I'm so excited about. Um, this is a hearth and hand washcloth that I'm going to hang over our pharmacy mirror. Then this is another little sign from them. I thought that would be so cute between the mirror and our vanity. And then when I saw this, I could not resist because I'm constantly telling our three-year-old and five-year-old to remember to flush the toilet. So these were all from Target. I ordered them online and they just got here um, today. And then um, I've got a few other things that I'm gonna use that we already had, and then a few things from our shop, House and Home. Okay guys, it is 5.30. This is where we are at right now. Still got to do this space over here. Hey buddy. And then this wall over here, but we've got some progress up top. So hoping to finish this shiplap tonight and get painting tomorrow morning.
Hey guys, so it is day two of our shiplap bathroom reno and we wanted to give you guys a little update on um, the progress that we made last night and what our plans are for today. Uh, so last night had to run to Lowe's. Um, we were cutting it really close on wood um, and I had to go and pick up another board. Um, so we cut down one more board to use. Well, extra now, um, we'll be able to finish up the project. Um, I also needed to go and grab some uh, extra brads or, or finishing nails. Um, so I got those. So we're good to go, ready to finish it today. We've just got this one section of wall. Um, it's about 22 inches or so wide. Um, and so we'll just finish that up, uh, run boards all the way down there today. Um, and then we'll prep the room for paint. So we've finished the shiplap in here, um, that's all done. Uh, so now we're gonna move on to prepping for paint. Um, so I'm actually gonna leave the outlets in instead of pulling them out. Um, so what I'm gonna do real quick is just reinstall them and then I'm gonna tape over them so I can just paint directly over it, rip the tape off, they'll be good to go. Um, so as I mentioned before, we cut out real tight around these outlets um, and then just left enough room to get to the um, junction box we can run a screw through. So I've taken out the screw that comes with the traditional outlet and I've installed a one and a quarter inch machine screw instead. Um, and so this will actually run, you know, we'll be able to reach the junction box to tighten this down. If you don't change out the screws, this is gonna be too short since we've bumped this outlet out from the wall um, due to the shiplap. So I'd buy longer screws, I've got those. And then again, we're gonna go ahead and rest this on the actual shiplap. So let's go ahead and install this one really quick. There we go, so that's installed. Um, we're gonna paint, obviously, and then I'll come back in here, make sure it's all the way straight, um, and we'll put the uh, plate on, and you won't be able to see any of this cutout hole right here. It'll completely cover it, um, but now your outlet is flush on the shiplap instead of sunk back in. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do for paint. So I'm just gonna use some painter's tape right here, and I'm gonna tape really tight right around this outlet so I can paint directly over it and not have to worry about removing the outlet to paint. So I'm gonna basically just cover where I've cut, just the hole. I wanna paint all of the shiplap and I wanna paint um, just this bottom edges here. So tape it real tight. If you go too much with your tape, you're actually going to um, cover some of the shiplap that will be exposed once you install your plate uh, and then you've gotta repaint or touch up. So. I'm gonna be conservative here. There we go. We'll cover just like that. Put that piece in. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now it's ready to paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the next couple of outlets. Um, and then we'll uh, tarp off the floor here um, and the door, take off the handle on the door. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray this entire room. Got everything taped off. We're ready for paint. Um, so we taped down along the floor here, um, real close to the trim so we wouldn't get uh, any paint down on the floor because we're going to spray. Then we went over it with a tarp. Um, so we've tarped off the entire floor. Um, we've uh, taped off all of the lights, switches, outlets, all of that. Um, and now I'm ready to paint. So I've got some glasses. Obviously that's important. We're going to spray. You don't want any of that in your eyes. Um, got to my mask, um, so be breathing in here in these tight quarters. Um, got the, my opener for my paint can. We're gonna use Sherwin-Williams Super Paint. Um, so it's a paint and primer in one. Uh, the color we're using is pure white. So I'll get that ready. Um, I'm gonna use this uh, spray paint um, gun. This actually, I've got a different one. This one we borrowed from a friend um, for a different project and I'm gonna use it today because um, it's a little bit quicker and easier to, to set up and tear down. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and put in the, the paint here. Um, I'm also gonna dilute it a little bit. Um, so I'll use a little bit of water just to cut it. We're using a water-based latex paint. Um, so I'll use a little bit of water and uh, dilute it so it sprays a little bit better. But anyway, I'm gonna get started here and uh, you guys can check back in a couple of minutes after we made some progress. So 
Chad is in the bathroom painting. You can probably hear the sprayer. I want to see what's going on in there, so let's take a little sneak peek. Okay, so one coat down on these walls here. It already looks so much better. I'm excited. He's going to fill his paint gun with just a little more to get a finished full coat on. So painting is done. Um, we did two coats on the shiplap. Um, and uh, you guys can come on in and see. Uh, covered pretty well with the Sherwin-Williams Super Paint. Um, so we did the two coats, sprayed it on. Um, you know, didn't really wait too long in between coats. Uh, just let it get dry to the touch. And we painted the ceiling and the fan while we were at it. Um, so it's all the same color at this point. And then I'll show you guys, um, we covered up the outlets and uh, switches. And so you can see kind of how that turned out. As you take this off, you can see you got a little bit of paint at the top. That's actually what you want on the metal there. So that way you know you've covered enough. So that way when I put this on here in a bit, once it's fully dry, you can see that that outlet is going to be flush. Um, and then you don't see any, uh, you know, non-painted wood back behind here. So same thing here. I'll have to bring the switches out slightly, but um, there you go. That's how that's going to look. We'll uh, bring the vanity in soon and then we'll uh, set the toilet as well. And then Sky will get to decorating. Sissy girl, are you daddy's little helper? Are you helping? What do you see? We're trying to get the vanity installed. It's gonna look so good. Okay, so we just got the kiddos to bed. We have gotten the vanity installed here. We've got to put in the second drawer. Um, it's coming together. We're about to go get the toilet, put that in, and then we get to decorate. So we've added the washers and we're gonna put the nuts on top here and we're gonna slowly start to tighten the toilet down. When you're tightening the toilet, you wanna go side to side. Um, so tighten a little bit on the left, then come back, do a little bit on the right, a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right. If you tighten down all the way um, on one side first, uh, you risk busting the porcelain um, and you don't wanna do that. So no one wants to replace a, a toilet. So. Anyway, let me uh, grab a socket wrench here and we'll start tightening it down. So now we're just hooking up the water back to the toilet here. Um, so we've tightened down our bolts, uh, our Johnny bolts to keep the toilet secure on the floor here. Um, so we'll clean all this up and then cover it up with the caps. Um, and then now I'm just installing the water going back to the tank here. Um, once we get this fully installed, we'll slowly turn the water back on, make sure there are no leaks or anything. Um, and then we'll put the top of the toilet back on. I'm gonna go ahead and caulk the back of the vanity of the sink here uh, to the wall. Um, that way, if the, you know, kids are washing their hands and they splash, um, you don't have water dripping down the, the ship lap and getting on the floor or anything like that. So I'm gonna caulk and seal this um, really quick. I'm just gonna use a uh, gloss white um, caulk here that's made for kitchen and bath. Um, so it's mold resistant. Um, doesn't crack, anything like that. And I'm just gonna lay kind of a thick bead all the way across, and I'll be able to just scrape it with my fingers. The conch is all smoothed out and ready to just sit and dry. Now we're going to go ahead and hang the mirror.
Okay guys, it is time to decorate this bathroom. I am so excited. I've been anxiously awaiting all weekend to get my hands on this room and the time is finally here. So my plan in here is to just um, have the pops of black, some greens, some browns, just to separate all of the white from the vanity, from the toilet, from the walls. So we are gonna hop over to this wall here behind the toilet and that's where I'm gonna start. We've got our metal grid wall shelf from our shop house and home and I thought that that would be perfect up here just to tie in again that black. We've got um, a pharmacy mirror, we've got a black faucet, other black um, fixtures in here. So I just wanted to tie that in. Um, I love this room spray from Magnolia. We got that at Target. And then I am just going to add these little washcloths here for a little um, pop of color again and just to add a little bit of texture to the shelf. So that is it for the shelf. Um, we are going to move over here onto this side so you guys can see what I'm going to do with our mirror and our vanity. So you guys saw um, my mail day earlier in this video. I got these um, hand towels from Target. I think they were the Opal House brand. I'll definitely link them below for you guys, but I loved the little polka dot detail and the fringe at the bottom. So I am going to hang that here on our towel rack. I think that's perfect. I actually love that it kind of drapes here on the vanity. We've got three little kiddos and they are washing their hands multiple times a day and this is actually set a little bit lower than we had it previous, uh, previously but I think it's perfect so that they can reach the towel because I used to always have to come in and grab the towel for them or they're reaching up really high and grabbing it and then it fell to the floor. So. I love the height that we chose for this. I'm gonna add some pops of color here on the shelf. I've got this cute little plant I got at TJ Maxx um, a while back. I think I featured it in a few of our videos, so you may have seen this. He travels around our house from time to time, but um, I really liked the little hobnail detail on that, tying in with the polka dots on the towel. And then I am just going to bring in our hand soap dispenser. This is an amber glass bottle, um, also from our shop. We just uh, ordered a big restock of these because they have been so popular. Um, so I am going to put that down here for washing hands. And then our thieves cleaner is just such a staple in our home. I've got a bottle of this in our kitchen and I wanted to also put one in here because um, with two little boys going potty by themselves. Let's just say it gets a little messy in here. And um, I like to have cleaner handy. So that is going to just go right in here. And that is all for now. I hope you guys love it. I will give you guys a little um, tour here uh, just with the camera so you can see all the different angles. But I'm so happy with how this turned out. Said we were done and then i felt like this wall needed something so i just had chad put a little screw in the wall and we have got a little hat and i think it is the perfect little touch Okay guys, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This was the perfect weekend project. We started Saturday morning and finished right now. It's like nine o'clock Sunday night. So we've got three kiddos. If we can do it, you can do it. I hope this inspired you to do your own um, shiplap renovation. Anything else you wanna add? And uh, again, it was an affordable um, DIY. Yeah. I mean, total we spent about three hundred dollars. That's for all of the wood, the paint, um, and some of the decor. Any new yeah. pieces? Um, you know, we we brought some that we already had, some from our shop, um, and then some new pieces. But it was about three hundred dollars total. 
Um, so really good uh, outcome for a you know quick weekend project and 300 bucks. Yeah, and it feels like a totally different space. I am loving this room. Before it was just dark and the walls were so messy and now it just feels so crisp and so clean and so airy and I love it.